What's the meaning of certs? Certs are numbers left in root form to express its exact value. In this video, I will teach you all about law of certs and we'll start right now. My name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your maths and MS skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first part of Law of Certs. The first part of the chapter is about multiplication of certs. So let's look at this formula. Cert A times cert B is equals to cert AB. Okay, let's look at more examples. So cert 3 times cert 12 is equals to cert 36. And cert 36 is 6. Okay? So next example would be cert 45 is equals to 9 times 5 cert equals to cert 9 times cert 5. You can separate them. So cert 9 is 3 times cert 5 and is equals to 3 cert 5. So that's the answer. The second part of the chapter is division of certs. So there's a formula for you to remember. Cert A divided by cert B is equals to cert A over cert B. Is equals to cert A over B. Okay, let's look at the examples. Cert 9k divided by cert 3k is equals to cert 9k over cert 3k. Then we can combine under one cert. Eh? So 9k over 3k, and then we can cancel off the k. Cancel top and bottom. So 9 divided by 3 is 3 and it's cert. Okay. okay, let's look at another example. Cert 32 divided by cert 2 and it's equals to 32 over 2 and then cert. Okay, so equals cert 16 and it's equals to 4. So that's the answer. The next part is simplifying certs. So let's look at this formula. Cert A plus cert A is equal to 2 cert A. It's like an apple plus another apple, you get two apples. Okay? So next, we have M cert A minus N cert A is equals to bracket M minus N cert A. So this is like factorization. Okay, let's look at the example. Cert 6 plus cert 6 is equals to 2 cert 6. Okay? So next, 5 cert 3 minus 2 cert 3 is equals to, factorize it, 5 minus 2 bracket cert 3. And 5 minus 2 is 3 cert 3. So that is the answer. There are some things you need to remember. 
cert A plus cert B is not equal to cert A plus B. Remember that, okay? Next, cert A minus cert B is not equal to cert A minus B. Okay, let's look at examples. Cert 2 plus cert 6 is not equal to cert 2 plus 6. Okay, next, cert 8 minus cert 3 is not equal to cert 8 minus 3. Okay? When a fraction has a cert in its denominator, for instance, 3 over cert 2, we need to eliminate the cert in the denominator. This process is known as rationalizing the denominator. Cert M plus cert N in bracket, okay? Multiply with cert M minus cert N in bracket is equal to cert M whole thing square minus cert N whole thing square and is equal to M minus N, okay? So next, let me change to another colour, eh? pink colour. So, cert M plus cert N in bracket and cert M minus cert N. Okay, so these two are known as conjugates cert. Okay, so con ju gate certs okay where the product is always a rational number let's look at these examples 12 over cert 3 is equals to so 12 over cert 3 so we look at the denominator cert 3 so we multiply with cert 3 over cert 3 okay so equals 12 cert 3 over so cert 3 times cert 3 is 3 okay so equals so 12 and 3 we can simplify so 1 and 4 so the answer is 4 cert 3 okay let's look at another example 4 over cert 7 minus cert 3. So for this, how to solve this is we have to multiply it with the conjugate certs. Cert 7 minus cert 3. So the conjugate certs are cert 7 plus cert 3. Okay? Over cert 7 plus cert 3 okay and it's equals so we have to uh, times 1 by 1 okay which is 4 times with cert 7 and 4 times with cert 3 so we'll get 4 cert 7 plus 4 cert 3 okay over so cert cert 7 whole thing square minus cert 3 whole things square okay so e equals so we can factorize the top so cert 7 plus cert 3 over so the bottom will be 4 because it's 7 minus 3 is 4 we can cancel the 4 and 4 1, 1 equals to cert 7 plus cert 3. So that's the final answer. 
Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to my next video, which is Law of Logarithms, coming up soon. Bye!